G'day, Chris here and welcome back to ClickSpring. My one inch belt sander has a broken drive pulley. So in this video, I make a replacement pulley to get it running again. Of course, a replacement pulley can be purchased quite cheaply, but I couldn't resist the excuse for another video, so here we go. Now the broken pulley appears to be a Zamac or pot metal casting. It's an original part, so it's had a fairly long service life, and I've got no complaints about it letting go. Taking dimensions from the original, this is what I'm going to make, and it has a few key features that are going to dictate how I make it. The first is this keyway. Now I don't have an arbor press, so I'm going to do this on the lathe. The second is the V-groove for the belt. It has a 30 degree included angle and it's not very deep, so I'll form that with the lathe compound. And lastly, there's the set screw hole, which I'll do on the mill. If you'd like to know the dimensions, I've put a link to some free drawings in the description box below. These are the materials I'll be using for the job. I've got an excellent piece of aluminium left over from another project, although it's a bit too short for chucking, so I'm going to turn it between centres to form the features. So that means I need an arbor, and I've got this length of silver steel for that. I'll fix the work on the arbor using super glue, and I'll break the bond with heat when I'm done. And this little scrap of high carbon steel will eventually become my keyway cutter, so I can cut the keyway on the lathe. So let's get started. The arbor needs centres on each end, so I set it to run two and a four door chuck, and then faced and centre drill the ends. Next I drilled and then reamed the slug of aluminium to match the outside diameter of the arbor. The work is a nice close fit on the arbor, so a small amount of glue is enough to hold it firmly in place for the rest of the job, provided I don't let the heat build up too much. I formed a temporary centre from some hex stock and then set up the lathe for turning between centres. A quick facing cut, followed by a clean up of the outside diameter, and the work is ready to be marked out. Next I form the basic profile of the part. I'd like a nice generous fillet in the corner for strength, so I've ground quite a large radius on the cutting tool. It means there's a lot of cutter contact when it's right in the corner, but a shallow depth of cut made the chatter quite manageable. So now it's starting to take shape, I marked out the inner groove and got to work roughing out the rest of the profile. I started with a parting tool to open it up. Then I set the compound over to 15 degrees to cut the flanks of the groove. I've ground this narrow blunt nose cutting tool to do the cutting. It can cut on both sides of the tool which is going to be handy in this case to get a matching surface at the bottom of the pulley groove. The size of the stock I started with didn't really give me any other option, but I think this is the big advantage of making this part between centres. Each side of the V-groove can be formed from the one compound setting just by reversing the work. A 
a light chamfer on each of the corners and the profile of the part is complete. A bit of heat from the propane torch softens the glue bond and I'm wearing breathing protection here because of those fumes. The facing cuts didn't quite get to the arbor, so there's a small burr at each end of the hole to take care of. I used this handheld countersink to knock them off. So with the profile complete, it's time to sort out the keyway. Now I made this cutter specifically for the job in a separate video, so click on the link if you'd like to see that. Once it was complete, I set the cutter on centre, loaded the pulley in the chuck, and then I took the first cut to form the keyway. I started by feeding in two thousandths with each pass, but as the cut became more established, I had to reduce that to a half thou per cut and make three passes at each depth. I found that any more than that put too much strain on the carriage wheel. The cutting action is not unlike that of a shaper. It makes similar looking chips and it generates quite a clean cut. So with the keyway finished, the pulley is almost complete. It just needs a quick trip to the mill to drill and tap a hole for the set screw. And it's done, so let's put it to work. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later. If you enjoyed this video, then here's two more that I think you might like. And I do appreciate it when you give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. If you'd like to know when the next video is released, be sure to subscribe. And if you'd like to help support the creation of these videos, then head on over to the Clickspring Patreon page. Thanks again for watching, I'll catch you on the next video.